What's happening? This is John Sue, just slabbering. Very special episode today for you. We're live at the Fila in the Falls Park, Belfast. So we're on my kneecap. We've got a few sick artists on today. We've got my wee daughter here with me and everything. So we're gonna go round, speak to a few of the folks involved, see what it's all about, you know? Let's go, folks. What's happening? Well, it's a crash. So, oh, Dirt Bird. We meet again. We meet again. Oh, Talk to me, bro. How was your oh, performance? Oh, class. I'm buzzing. I was nervous as fuck. Uh, can you say fuck on this? Oh, yeah. Bro, you can say whatever you like on this. I was nervous as fuck before going on that there. You know what I mean? I grew up drinking in this here park, as I say. Like, do you know what I mean? Run about like a rocket. And uh, to be able to under up there and just see yeah. all my mates and see all my family and all in the crowd was unbelievable buzz, unbelievable buzz. You smashed it, bro. Hopefully be back next year with yourself. Damn Hopefully right, 100%, bro. 100%, 100%. Love to hear your performance your was sick, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you. It nah, was very really good. enjoyed it. Met the world to me as well, mate. Man, the world of me seeing you in the corner as well. Of we were joined, sitting there going, yeah. It started raining in yours a wee bit. I had to get the umbrella out. Oh, I, that's it. I, I turned the rain on, so that meant that's that. it. You know what I mean? Sure, here, you know when it started raining? As soon as you started to do the weatherman song. Exactly, it's because of my drip, mate. It's because of my Celtic drip. I was thinking, what's happening here? So I'm going to do the weatherman track. Next thing it started to rain. Oh, I know, man. I know, madness. Madness, you <laughs> know what I mean? The same music conveys emotions. Didn't know it could control the weather as well, Luke. And then here, you've got a. Your um your own show at Lavery's as well yeah, tonight. Yeah, we are. Their party just more just more than anything, just a wee celebration for me and the party. Right. I mean, I've been looking forward to it since I was that height. Do you know what I mean? Of course. So, yeah, that, it's a big that achievement. Your hand. Oh, so just wanted to do something just after it, celebrate with all of us. Obviously, here's an aimer for you on the list if you can make it. You know what I mean? Well, we'll no see. This is until one, isn't it? Uh, what time's the Lavery's close? Uh, three. 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 So I might pass down it because I'm staying. Uh, I've well, got a hotel tonight, so if, I might come if down. You, if you need a lift down there, or anything, I might come down. We'll last a bit. But listen, bro, you fucking smashed it. I was like, you know that, my bro. You know that, my bro. Damn it, my bro. My big cutting, actually. You know that. You know, if anybody <laughs> has, that's my big cutting, right? You know that. Yo, keep it locked. 100%. What's happening? So we're here with Katie, Katie Martinez. She's, um, I know she's wearing an I was born in Belfast t shirt, but it actually should say I was born in Bilbao. That's right. She's a Spanish girl. She's um, part of Hotbox, and um, I got her to DJ for me here tonight. Yep. So you're looking forward to it? Yep, I think it'll be good. What do you think of the setup? It's huge. Have you ever done anything like this? I think this will be the biggest stage. Yeah, yeah. it's something else, isn't it? Well, we got her on from Hotbox, and it's good to have you over, you know? And um, I'm excited for it. What do you think about um, who else is on tonight? Kneecap and all. Have you heard Kneecap before? I've actually not heard them. You never heard them? No. I've heard their name, but... You'll like them, they all rap in Irish and everything, you know, so it's going to be a good one. Good and stuff. then um, there's a few others on as well, we'll try and get them all. But listen, it's good to have you here anyway. Thank you very much. Yeah, man, much all love. Right. Let's go. <laughs> Three, two, one. Our next act is John Sue. Now, first of all, I'm loving the jumper. Thank you very much. I got this gifted to me at the Whiskey and White podcast um, on Thursday night. So um, one of the fellas, he was a big fella, he says, take that off and he's give it to me. So I liked it. Didn't think it was going to fit me at first. Are you looking forward to it? I'm more than looking forward to it. I'm very, very, very excited, you know. I love the feel. It's um, a year younger than me. I'm 36 and the feel is 35. So it's an honour to be here. I'm here with my wee daughter as well. She's going to be singing with me. Got my mates and all, so I'm very excited. Um, my music was a blend of hip hop and um, traditional Irish music, so I blended in all my uncles and all. They play like the traditional bagpipes and the, the fiddle and the flutes, and I blended in like scratching the DJ and then, like you know hardcore beats and I tell the story of my family. That's what it is. It's like a blend of rap, spoken word, and traditional Irish music. I'm on at 7.35 and you need to get that. Check it out, it's gonna be some show tonight. What's happening? We're here with Declan McCarr, my good bro. And we're here with Ethan McCann. So I said to Declan, I'm doing the feeler, and he says, yo, I'm coming with you, let's do this. And then I get to his house for a rehearsal last week and he goes, no, I need to bring my big swanky multicolored 
electric guitar. So he brought Ethan as well. Ethan's going to do the acoustic. So he's, Ethan's on the acoustic. Have you ever done the Fila? No, never mind. Declan, yeah. talk to me. I've never even been here before. I've never been at the Fila. And I've never been in this park, but it looks great. Mm. Everybody's having a good time. So. Fila, if you are listening to this, this man here, it's actually a tragedy and a damn disgrace that you have never had this man on. Because I'm telling you, this guy's one of the best musicians in Ireland. Legendary he is. I can't believe you brought your um, electric guitar. Are you going to show off, though? No. It, well, the reason why I'm bringing the electric guitar is because the songs that we're playing, they were recorded with an electric guitar. So why not just keep it authentic, you know? I love That's it, bro. It. So um, we've done Alien together. Oh, yeah. We're going we're gonna to do Alien, um, Spansel Hill, and Jacobites. And then we're going to do a wee tribute to Sinead O'Connor. Absolutely. Ethan, talk to me, brother. How are you feeling? All good, all good. Excited, excited. Yes, my bro. <laughs> and then, um, do you play with Declan often? Yeah, me and Declan play together and a few different people. Yeah. Don't we? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Good crack. I, uh, I, I taught Ethan when he was about 10 years old in the primary schools. That's how old I am. And then uh, I, can't, I can't believe how good he got. Um, I, didn't, I didn't actually teach him. He taught himself, really. But I showed him a few things and then... I was hearing for the grapevine, oh, this wee boy's getting great and all. He's like, fuck, I must hear him. And his dad was like, oh, my boy's getting good. You want to you hear him playing and all? You have to come around and jam with him sometime. I went around, he nearly blew my socks off. I was like, fuck, happy days. This boy yeah. is, you know. Then he, he, always, he always pulls me out of a hole. If I can't like, do a gig, he'll step in and, you know. Love that, you know, bro. That's what, he, that's he's what a, you need. He's an absolute legend. Yeah, yes, thank you. my bro. Now, here, listen, thank yous both for coming. Thank you. Honestly, lads, because it's the biggest show I've done as well, so it's good to have you on there, but baby, bro. Obviously, we're going to smash it anyway. And um, there's a full episode of Just Slabbering Out as well with Declan. So check that out if you just need to know who he is. But um, yeah, man, keep us locked. Let's see what's happening. We're live here at the Fila with my big special, special guest. This is my big daughter, Amelie Joy. What's happening? <laughs> Are you excited, kid? Um, yeah, I'm a bit nervous, but I'm excited. Well, I said she was going to wear a John C t-shirt. No, she said, no, I'm not. You're going to buy me a dress. I had to take her to the Abbey Centre yesterday. She picked a lovely dress. So. Are you excited? Yeah, I, I think I'm more excited than I am nervous. Good girl, that's what I like. Are you a wee bit nervous? Yeah, very. Yeah. Nah, but you'll be great. Everybody says you're amazing. And what song are we doing? Snowman. And um, we first made the snowman. We've done the first two verses. The first Christmas you came yeah. to Northern Ireland. Yeah, like two Christmases ago, was it? And then we made the last two verses after last summer. Last summer, Amelie came over to visit me. And um, tragically and suddenly, her best friend from school, Alicia, passed away. So I made the second two verses of The Snowman dedicated to her. So um, we're going to perform it this year now in honour of Alicia's memory, aren't we, kid? Yeah, I'm very excited because of that. We're going to smash it, girl. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Love you so much. Love you too. Yeah, ma'am. <laughs> Control the maestro at the same time with the dope rhyme that I kick. You know and I know I hold some old coke and shit. Fuck that. I'm not going to catch the mic. One time on the line. Well, how are you, Papa? Oh, I'm doing good. <laughs> All the more to be here this evening. What do you think? In your hometown. <laughs> Imagine being in the Falls Park, eh? Oh, I'm not superstitious. <laughs> I it's think it's a great thing. I really do. Of course. Well, it's an honour to have you here with me, Papa. Oh, it's just a joy to see how it's developed and just grown. I know. You know, it really is. Of course. I just like to see how it, you know, your music is recognised all over the place. 
So that's reconciliation in many ways. That's exactly what it is, Papa. I'm going to have to get a podcast for you on your own. You know that. Do that. We're going to have to just go raw and tell the whole story. Well, I look forward to that. I'm glad you're here anyway. Oh, I couldn't have missed this now. <laughs> Not at all. I'm really thrilled by it all. It's just it's great to watch it all. It is. It is special. My Emily's here and everything. I will have couldn't miss that now, could I? Yeah. And, uh, well, hopefully it'll be a good show. Let's see how it goes, eh? Well, it's packing up nicely now, anyway. It is. And then did someone hit your car on the way in here? Well, you don't want this on tape, do you? <laughs> I thought we got everything on the tape. Do you? They're sick. Come on, just reverse. I heard the bang. And, but I was worried in cases. Toe bar had damaged the back of my car, but it seems to be all right. Well, I'm glad anyway we're in. We're in now. <laughs> Let's keep our luck. Three, two, one, and again. <laughs> and then one more time. <laughs> You didn't catch me slip there, did you? You can smash it in there. No, I mean even tonight. Oh, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to give you a shout out there. I was just going to say, he can be a wee smuggle one of his fags backstage. I don't know why I'm hearing about this. You're a jay. Smashed it. Oh, 
What's happening? I'm here with Gemma Dunleavy. Is that how you pronounce your name? It is, yeah, yeah, you got it right. And where are you from, Dublin? From Dublin, yeah. Whereabouts in Dublin? Sharon Street, Dublin 1. Lovely, yeah, yeah. lovely. So what did you think? Ah, oh, loved it. It was fucking brilliant. It was amazing to yeah. hear you perform. Did you enjoy yourself? Absolutely. So how do you know kneecap? 
I know them from just from gigging and just from like the music scene and yeah. you know and it's gas because I actually started me music career really in Belfast Did totally you? outside of I was this should, a fella called Lyndon Stevens I was in a band with a guy we, we were called Unknown right Chris Hanna he's a DJ me and him were in a duo and Lyndon Stevens was their manager and he put blood, sweat and tears into us now. He's not around anymore. He passed away. He got uh, He was the most incredible uh, person to, uh, to have working on your side. And I always say, every time I come here, I'm like, uh, like I, it's a credit to him that I'm doing what I'm doing. Because he gave me my first platform on the stage. I love that. Yeah. You're so like great. me. So my manager, I've made my album. I'm give, gonna give you a copy of it tonight. Yeah. But um, it's called The Troubles, but I worked on it for like seven years. I have all my family portray, playing the traditional Irish Amazing. instruments. And then I tell my story, you know? Yeah. But my manager, who worked with me for like years and years, he was called Phil Ellis, and he was my teacher in college. But then just before I released the album, he passed away. Oh and I was God. fucking, it was traumatizing. Yeah. So I didn't, I've never had a manager then yeah. since, you know? So. I've always said I found it really hard to find a manager since Lyndon because he was my first experience of a manager and everyone after that was all very, you know, the industry changes so quick and it's nothing, it's nothing to each manager or anything like that. It's listen, not, I, listen, I said the exact same. I said it's like having a wife and then your wife passing away and then saying, right, you have to find a new yeah. wife and you said it's not like that. Like I, there was something very special there, yeah. and that's what it was with my manager. Yeah. I've never had another manager in my yeah. life, and he's been dead now 12 years. Yeah. And I just released the album Didn't without him, and I dedicated the album to him then, yeah, you know? that's amazing. Of course, but uh, so what about yourself then? So how did you know Kneecap and all? Just through the music scene in Dublin, and uh, yeah, just like, that's literally how, and like, they're, they're just, they're amazing. I love them, I love their energy, I love, everything about the performances. I love the crowd that they bring. Next uh, level, the crowd. And there's just a warmth in it that like... I'm gonna tell you the truth. It was the best show I've ever done in my life. Yeah. It actually uh, was. Oh, it what was... about you? Have you done any more? Have you done better shows? Where have you done? Have you done any festivals now? I've done, yeah, I've done a good few festivals. And like, honestly, like after COVID, the first show that we played, maybe not the first one, but one of the first ones was, um, AVA right. and I've always loved coming to Belfast right and I was like oh this is incredible the Belfast crowd I, I'll say it again and again they never fail the best crowd they are and they truly so are so coming here I was like I just I was so excited because I love the Belfast crowd so it was amazing to come well I listened to your song Up the Flats mm. and I loved it my big mate you might know him big I don't know what his real name is. I just called him Tyson. Big shout to Tyson if you're watching. But um, he's from the flats in Dublin. Okay. But that was your only, that's the tune that I heard up yeah, the flats, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. So did yeah. that blow up for you or what? It did, yeah, it did. See, I made an EP before COVID and it, and it came out just as we were all in lockdown. And I guess that was a time when everyone was craving community and all, right? Of course. And the EP was six different songs written from the perspective of six stereotypes that I grew up around. And I grew up in, a, in an inner city, uh, underprivileged and under-resourced area. Uh, so all of these stereotypes were voices that I felt, I felt like I'm in this art world. I was a dancer and a musician for a lot of my life. And I'm, I have one foot in this art world, but the whole of my life is in the rest of this world that no one knows anything about. And everyone's very closed off to you and very cagey about. And I was like, and then I want air stories out there. Damn I don't right. want this, I don't want this separation. So I wrote an EP that was six different songs and they were written from the perspective of six different stereotypes that I grew up around. Wow. Um, Wow, it, okay, see, so I yeah. didn't know. I only knew Up The Flats. Yeah. So what's this EP called? Up the, it's called Up The Flats. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. so this is it. So, okay, so I thought Up The Flats was a song. Yeah, that is a, a song. But it's it. the main song, the title Up, song from the, the, from the EP. EP yeah. Right, I'm going to so listen you know, to the that's, EP. That's the one song on it that's from my perspective, and it's from everyone that I love around me. That's their perspective as well. But then there's also the perspective of a mother who's nursing her son who got caught up in the, the heroin epidemic. There's oh. also the young fella who's grown up in the hardships of being too easily labelled a criminal because of his second name or because of where he's from. Of course. Uh, there's all, there's the, the, the mother who is raising all these kids and kind of just wants to escape, but like is stuck in the cycle and can't, you know, there's, 
Yeah. I want to listen to the whole EP. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't hear it. So when I went on YouTube and typed in Gemma Dunleavy, it came up the flats and then there was about like five or six different versions of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's you obviously live at yeah, different yeah, places, yeah, yeah. but I never heard any more. Yeah. So I'm actually going to sit down and like really listen oh, to it. Man. But I enjoy it. Did you do a few covers tonight as I well? I did Miracle. Yeah. Thanks for shit. Yeah. yeah, I need a miracle. Yeah. Yeah. It's more of yeah. yeah. You smashed it tonight. Thank did you, you enjoy the reception and all? Yeah. I did. I loved it. I yeah. loved it. Yeah. yeah, I loved it as well. And it was great. It was great. Like, we. we so basically, we were on the way, we were on the road to get here for the Hawthorn Bar earlier. Yeah. And we were on the motorway, and I realised I had no shoes on. Oh, for fuck's sake. And I was like, what the fuck? I've Don't tell me you left your shoes at home. Yeah, I had to go home for the No, place. you didn't. Had we had How far away we from had to Dublin drive were you? Halfway, halfway. No, you weren't. I swear to God. Had you hit no, the border no, yet? I wasn't driving, so it wasn't like I was pressing the pedals and feeling me bare feet and going right Oh, for the fuck's sake. No, I was sitting in the passenger seat, and then I was like, I've no shoes, so I had, we had to go back for my shoes. So by the time we got here, it was half five. Oh, got into the fucks. hotel. So we just got here, our shoes are on. Yeah, 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 but you did. I was on at half seven. Yeah. But I seen you all arrived then. Yeah. And then I seen you listening to my set oh backstage. Oh my, God, that was, it was so good. Yeah, and like, man. your daughter was oh, amazing. She and loved that it. that song, like, we, I think we got here two songs before that. Yes. Uh, and yeah, it was just brilliant. We yeah, no, it. listen, my wee daughter was in her element tonight. Yeah. That wee song, it was the snowman, you know, I'm walking snowman, in yeah. the air. And then I wrote the, my mate played the song to her and I wrote the rap. You know what I loved? I loved that she was, she, so she was mounting along to you rapping. I know. And she was doing every, and me She's and Roshi so were like nudging going, look at her. I know. She was feeling every word you were saying. I know. She's only 12. And um, she's always, I wrote her a song, I'll have to send you the song. I wrote her a song like a few years ago about how tight she is to me, like my best friend, you know? And it's called Just the Two of Us. And it's about me and her, you know? But she yeah. fucking loved it tonight. Oh, uh, you have to tell her, we're all so proud of her. She did amazing. Yeah. And, She'll be watching it, she was yeah. on this. So this is my um, podcast, Just Slabber. Okay. And this episode is just live at the feeler. Yeah. You know, but I would love to get you on sometime. Come yeah. up to Belfast. Love to do a song with you. Yeah. Get you on a chorus. Yeah. And I'll rap a few um, verses, you oh, know what I mean? Big gangster shit. Yeah. But, um, you ever heard of a rapper from uh, Dublin Inc.? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. me and him done a song together yeah, and all, me. you know? Yeah. So I love getting, uh, like, my best mate. Have you ever heard of the Cali Cave as well? No. So the Cali Cave was like a smoking club from, okay. um, from, from Dublin. And it was over in uh, in Spain, you know. Daddy. But um, so I've got a lot of links with Dublin. I love the Dublin Daddy. folks, you know. Yeah. But um, so we'll definitely have to link. Come up to the studio Absolutely. sometime. Yeah. I want to hear your full story. Yeah. Hear where you came from and everything, yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Absolutely. Listen, Gemma, you fucking yeah. smashed it tonight. Absolute pleasure. Listen, Absolute it was a real pleasure. pleasure to meet you. God bless oh, as well. Likewise. Yeah. Yeah, man. Thank you. What's happening? So I'm here at the Fila I've just performed. I'm here with the Whistling Donkeys. It's a fucking pleasure, lads. This is Big Danny McCormick. Uh, you're the only one to know the name of, and then you play the, the I bass. Yes, that's right. Yes, yeah, yeah. bro. And then what's your name? Mickey. Mickey Gerr. And what do you play, bro? Fiddle. Oh, you fiddle play player, the fiddle? Yeah. Oh, lovely. And what's your name, bro? I'm Fergal. I'm the, I'm the singer. So Fantastic. Yeah. I'm Stevie the Great. <laughs> Stephen the Great. <laughs> You're the guitar player? Yes, yeah, me, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. And then Ross? Tomas. Tomas. Ah, Tomas. Banjo player, yeah. Tomas, the banjo <laughs> player. Sick, lads. Well, I've heard good things about you. My mate Declan McCarr from Lurgan, he was here tonight. He spoke very highly of you. And um, so I can't wait. What do you do, like uh, rebel tunes and all that? I don't know, one day. Uh, it's mostly like folk and folk and trad and a wee bit of uh, something else, like other stuff through it and through the odd one night, aye. Lovely, bro. I've done a wee bit of trad there tonight as well. I heard that, aye. Yeah. Yeah. Spansel Hill. Yeah, I done Spansel Hill. That was, because um, I love all the Irish tunes and all, and then when I went to Declan's house, he like played it, you know, and then I just done my own version of it, you know. Really? And then I done the Jacobites as well. My cousin and my uncle, they like played in most of my album of the Troubles. 
So the troubles is like, you know, a mix of like traditional Irish music with hip hop, you know what I mean? Cool. So that's what like my album is. I'll give you a copy tonight. Definitely. You can check yeah, it out. Perfect. But my uncle there, he died last year, July last year. He said his uh, least favorite day of the year was July the 12th. And, <laughs> and then he ended up, then he ended up passing away on the 12th of July. Oh, and he was called Billy. <laughs> That's my uncle Billy. But uh, we made a load of songs together and done like, um, I done like a, an EP with him as well. So we done like a ride on. And, but Buff. instead of it being about a, a horse, I made it about my, my daughter. You know, and it was like when the police came to take her away, and all you know, it was like deep, it was heavy, like you know. So it was like ten years ago, but I love the, I love the trap and all. If you've ever done any like crossover in the genres or anything, not yet, not no. yet, man. You know, we're open to ideas, like you know, keep us, keep us in mind, you know. <laughs> Listen, that's why I'm here, lads. Let's do a John Sue whistling donkeys. We'll call it the whistling John Susies. <laughs> <laughs> So, you are on next, just after Gemma Dunleavy, then? That's right, that's right. Yeah, and then um, what are you doing, like, uh, just over an hour, then? Just over an hour, yeah. Sick. Yeah. And uh, what, tell us what some songs that you're doing now. Uh, well, you doing uh, any classics? Classics? I uh, well, we're going to throw Grace in, I suppose. Uh, Love Grace. Uh, and then our big, biggest song for us um, over the years is a, is a Richard Thompson song called Beeswing. So, hopefully oh, I know Beeswing. Uh, I'm um, Christy Moore sings it's it amazing. Right yeah. I heard that in Spain. Met a, uh, with a wee piece, but it was a brilliant tune, one there. Ah, uh, Bees, but do you sing uh, that? Yeah. Do, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't wait to hear you do that. That's one of my favourite tunes. Oh, I'm fucking, sorry. I'm thinking about it now. I thought it was actually Christy Moore's tune, but it's not. He just done oh, a cover. Richard Thompson, he, co he covered it, I. Yeah, so that's one of your most popular ones, then. I can't that's wait right, for yeah. that. And then what else, then Beeswing. So I love Beeswing. And then, wait, any other tunes? OK, we do a lot of covers there, the Travelling Soldier and stuff, and... Um... I don't know what to do. Isle of Hope and songs like that, if you know them. Yeah, I don't know. See, the only like old folks songs I know all come from my uncle. So, like Jacobites, did you hear me doing the Jacobites tonight? J you know Jacobites by name? Aye. You know yeah, that old, yeah, yeah. it's like an old Scottish tune. Aye. People not sure what, what, like what side it's of, because it's a mad tune to Jacobite. You know the one? Ye Jacobites by name, lend an ear, lend an ear. Just know that one. Aye, old I, Scottish I, I, I one. Thing, you know? He would have done. Aye. Probably did it I think it he definitely would have. Yeah, and then it done. Um, my uncle done a version of um, Dark Island. Do you know Dark Island? Know. On a hilltop high above the Dark Island. It's a Irish one too, isn't it? No Scottish. Oh, too, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So he does a lot of Scottishy ones too, you know. So that's where I get all mine from. But um, but I'm I'm getting into the more folky stuff. That's what I want to do as well. I can't be rapping forever with my grey hairs now. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm delving more into the folk. But I love it, you know. We'll, we'll have to link up. I'd love to do something if you're yeah, up for yeah. it, and we'll get you into the studio there at the Hotbacks. So are you excited for the night, lads? Absolutely, yeah. Have you done the feeling before or anything? Never, no. We've, we've seen, obviously, the videos of it and stuff over the years, but we, we never get to a lot of these festivals ourselves because we're always on the road gigging, so it's nice this time we're, we're coming here. It's the first time here. We're of course. Stage, like, so we're yeah. looking forward to it. No, it was my first time too. The fucking crowd was next level. <laughs> it was. And it just kept getting bigger and bigger as right. it went on, you know? Listen, lads, I won't keep you as long. I cannot fucking wait for your set. <laughs> I think you're going to smash it, so I look forward to it. Uh, we, we loved your set too, man. Thank Quality you. stuff, yeah. man. Thank Great you, bro. Like Listen, papers. fucking loved it, having my wee daughter on with me, you know. Oh, my dad there at the back listening to it, you know. Brilliant. And it was funny because I wrote some lyrics and actually rapped them to him, you know. I says, yeah. I've no money, Dad, so what's it matter? <laughs> and any way, I don't want to sell drugs, I want to be a rapper. <laughs> and I rapped it to him, you know. <laughs> and next thing he's looking out at all the crowd, it was brilliant. My dad loved it, like he's in there. Listen, lads, I'm looking forward to your set. I'll have to hook up with you soon. Yeah, God nice. bless Thank the you. whistling donkeys. Cheers, Cheers, Cheers bro. Cheers.
brother. You fucking smashed it tonight, you did. No, I said it was the best show I've ever done in my life. What you've done tonight was special. You started it? Yeah, man. Well, listen, you are fucking carrying it on. Proud of you. Fucking legend, bro. Listen to me. It's the fucking best, best fucking show I've ever Thank done you, in my life. Thank you very much. And you smashed it, brother. I appreciate that. Nah, I'm not lying, though. It was fucking special. Thank you very much. Did you enjoy it, brother? I love it. Did you enjoy it? I love being. Did you do it last year as well? Did it last year. We're in between albums, we're waiting on the new album. This is funny, mate. Waiting on the new album to come out. And you're, what are you drinking? Fucking cinnamon whiskey? Nah, this is the fucking Dragon Claw whiskey. Ah, oh, okay. Have you ever tried that? I guess so. Northern Ireland sponsored. Woo! I drank the whole thing tonight, bro. Me? Well, you've got the last bit, but it's beautiful. Try it. Right, you need to try it. Cheers, bro. This is the Just Slabbering podcast. Oh, he finished it on me with a fucking hero. <laughs> bah, bah. Let's go. Listen. Let's say finish it. He deserved that. I'm glad that you, you finished that. Listen, this guy's a fucking Irish hero. Appreciate you hear it. me? Kneecap fucking destroyed the place tonight. This is the feeling. 2023, the 25th anniversary. Fucking 35th. 35th anniversary. And the 50th anniversary of hip hop, so to say. It is today. fucking anniversary. Today we got Who's your favorite rapper? So our favorite rapper, uh, Tupac. Had to Tupac. go Tupac. What are you going? What are you Shut saying? Door a sec, bro. What Shut are you saying? You see Tupac? Uh, bro, then you're the exact same as me. Because Tupac was more than a rapper. Oh, he was uh, a revolutionary. Oh, I he stood up. Oh, he was sure. born in prison. His man's a Black Panther. His black was a Black Panther. And she was, uh, did you know Tupac was born in oh, prison? Oh, I don't know. And his auntie's still on the fucking run in yeah. Cuba. Two G'd up, bro. The Shakurs, bro. So oh, me and you're the exact same. Who's your second favorite then? Uh, John Sue. <laughs> <laughs> well, yo, my <laughs> second favorite's kneecap. Yeah, in, listen to me. What you've done tonight, bro. It fucking was incredible. I and you know what I loved as well? The whole lineup was perfect because it summed you up in the tea. Yep. It summed you up, bro. You had me on, then you had Gemma from Dublin, oh, and then you had the West, the fucking whistling donkeys. The bro, did you hear that? We had the fucking working class representing. And then you had we dirtbird as well, oh, bro. I fucking loved it, bro. Every corner of the working class was too special. You know I mean? It was too special to It was a pleasure tonight. to have you Listen. fucking in the West Belfast. It was the doing your fucking thing, doing the first album. Here, are you listening, bro? It's the best fucking show I've ever done in my life. That's a big, that's and it's a big all thanks to you. That's a big statement. And listen, it's all thanks to you, bro. That's a big statement. And then I thought it was over, and then you just bounced back on, and then your DJ smashed, and then just bounced back on with it. Listen, show it was business. too sick. Best show, show business, on. baby. And listen, bro, you're too fucking cheated yeah, up. So what's next up? Are you just going to do the American tour? We're going to America to fucking eat our holes off ourselves and smoke a balls <laughs> ourselves and then fucking sing the load of Irish Americans who are fucking off their head. If you're going to live in America, you got to come to our gig Here, and bring I, a load of drugs. I like the I way... I mean, you, don't bring a load of drugs. <laughs> I like the way it's called it, the North American tour and not the United States tour. Nah, nah, you with me? Nah, Fuck nah, all that on that. Fuck all that North oh, yeah, Imperial shit. Exactly. No, yeah, here, here's the main shit. man. Come over here, my brother. Uh, 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 Come over here. Listen. Is it, let me, is it makeup? What? Did, what is it for? For makeup? This is just a John Sue, Just Slabbering podcast. Right. For the feeler. Right. Live with the feeler. Did you enjoy yourself, my bro? I'm sorry. Listen, it was all right, but I'm going to tell you this. It was my best show in the f I've ever fucking done. It's been rapping for years, and I'm proud that I've done it supporting you boys. See, if Adam went home after the Western Donkeys, I would have been happy. But then when you come on, bro, yes. Yeah, you can take the piss with it, though. You're a gent. Listen, nah, I'm not a gent, bro. Yeah, one more question, John C. Where were you born? I was born in Belfast. <laughs> 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 Listen, lads, you're too cheap. Fucking love you. Love you. Love you, bro. You're too cheap, though. Keep her lit. Keep her lit. Just slobber. Yes, what I'm going to do to the Listen, feel it. Fucking love you. Best show I've ever fucking done in my life. Best podcast. Look, you better fucking mix this up, LDG Films. You better mix it up and make it some fucking a movie. Show where exactly what happened tonight. But it was fucking incredible. Loved it. Had my dad on stage with me. My wee daughter and all singing. You know, my girlfriend, Caitlin, say hello. You've seen my sexy assistant a few times. <laughs> this is her. What did you think of the show? It was amazing, dude. Fucking you loved were it. Were all real? Yeah, everyone was all real. Our fucking highlights of the whole show 
where the whistling donkeys and kneecap. Absolutely fucking mind blowing. If I had a left after the whistling donkeys, I would have been happy. But I fucking love kneecap, man. They were a mind blowing, fucking spectacular. Fela, it's been an absolute honor. This is John Sue reporting live from the Falls Park, West Belfast, 2023. Fela, God bless us. What's happening? This is John Sue. Just slam